Welcome back to the Jay All Day Show. NFL fans, I have a great episode lined up for you guys today. I want to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles draft. Howie Roseman, the GM, was wheeling. He was dealing. He was making trades, trading up, trading back. The dude is an absolute magician. Quinion Mitchell goes in round one, pick 22. Sometimes the moves you don't make are the best moves. The Eagles stayed at 22 and got their guy without having to give up one of their second round picks. And they used one of those second round picks to move up in the second round to get Cooper DeGene, who most NFL draft analysts thought was the best defensive back in this entire draft class. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows in Philadelphia. I have some bad news for you Eagles fans. Jeremiah Trotter Jr. is not his dad. And in fact, I think he could very easily be a draft bust. Luckily, they got him in the fifth round. He's undersized. He's got really, really short arms. I want to show you some of the tape and why I think he's not going to be successful at the NFL level. Let's get into it. Before we get started, Eagles fans, if you could do me a huge favor, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're getting closer and closer to 5,000 subscribers. I need your help. Hit that like button for me. I really appreciate it. Real quick, I want to talk about Jeremiah Trotter's measurables before we get into the tape. Six foot, 230 pounds, guys. He's not a very big guy. His dad was 6'1", 260. He's six foot, 230. He's got pretty decent grades, but one thing that really concerned me is that missed tackle rate over 16%. Not very good. Towards the bottom of the entire draft, class average depth of run tackle 2.2 yards again at the bottom of the draft i don't love it 15 missed tackles this year i don't love that at all and if you look at his measurables man they're some of the worst in the class at linebacker these are all percentiles right 10th percentile in height 11th in weight 14th in wingspan 25th in arm length not very good, guys. Six foot two, twenty-eight wingspan, seventy-four and three quarters of an inch. Arm length only thirty-one inch arms. Yikes. Hand size okay. Twenty-yard shuttle okay. I mean, these numbers are just not great. He's not really good in any of these measurables. I don't like it. Let's take a look at the tape. All right, let's take a look at the tape. He's in the middle linebacker position right now, number fifty-four. And if you watch this play, he takes a horrible angle. He's looking back, eyes on the quarterback. He he takes a horrible angle. Horrible. Allows the guy to get 10, 15 yards down the field more. He's lined up on the outside. He gets absolutely destroyed by the tackle. Gets completely washed out of the play. All right, he's in the middle again right now, guys. Watch this. You recognize the play. Boom, he gets washed out again. Doesn't contribute on the play at all whatsoever. Now he's in the middle of the field again. Let's see how he recognizes the defender. He tips the ball. Good play there. He's on the outside now. Doesn't really get anywhere close to the quarterback. Doesn't disrupt the quarterback at all whatsoever. This is a game against Duke. He's heading out to the flat now. That was solid defense. All right, he's lined up on the outside now. Looks like he's going to blitz. Maybe he'll pick up the running back. He gets chipped. Again, the quarterback has plenty of time to make the play. He disrupted the play, but that's not enough. In the run game, another missed tackle. Let's just watch that again. Number 54. Watch him get completely washed out of this play. Gets shucked off the ball. Missed tackle. Lazy tackle. Flat-footed tackle. You don't like that, man. You don't like that at all whatsoever. There he is on the outside in coverage. Doesn't really impact the play at all. Allows the guy to get a first down. He's just undersized, and these offensive linemen are handling him in the secondary. And the offensive linemen are it, are even bigger in the NFL. That another play where he is he's nowhere near the ball. He's late. Just bad defense, man. Just unable to recognize the play in time to make an impact. He's blitzing on this play right now. Stands his ground, makes a solid play on the quarterback. But for the most part, he's missing assignments. He's recognizing the play late. He's getting washed out of these plays, not even being involved at all whatsoever. He's on the outside now. 
Another another non-factor guy. He's just a non-factor in these plays, man. 54, he's dropping back in the coverage now. But again, he's a middle linebacker, and boom, there's a first down. Another first down because he's dropping back in coverage too far. I'm not loving the tape, man. I'm not loving the tape. He comes up, makes a play. But guys, this he's not the answer right now, man. He's just a non-factor in all of these plays that we're watching right now. This is against Duke. And Duke is not an elite program by any stretch of the imagination, right? Where is the athleticism? Where is the elite defensive ability? I just don't see it. He's small. He's undersized. He's getting washed out on the first level and second level by offensive linemen. I'm just waiting for him to have that big play, but I just don't see it. He's in the middle again right now. He's a little flat-footed for me. Let's see if he can come up and make a play. Nope. Gets completely juked out of his shoes. This is not the tape of someone who's going to come into the NFL level and be elite. He's getting completely juked out of his jocks by guys at Duke. These running backs in the NFL like Christian McCaffrey are going to make this dude look silly. The Eagles really need to address the linebacker position. I like the Cooper DeJean pick, but getting a guy like Edger and Cooper is more important on this defense. Jeremiah Trotter is going to have trouble getting on the field this year. And when he's on the field, if he continues to play like this, he is a little bit younger of a guy. He's 21 and a half years of age. So can he improve over time? That remains to be seen. But you saw these plays. He's getting washed out. He's missing tackles. And this was playing Duke. This isn't playing the Dallas Cowboys. This isn't playing the 49ers or the Lions with that offensive line that Detroit has. Come on, man. Come on. This guy, the Eagles are going to struggle again mightily at the linebacker position, and this is why. You're drafting a guy in the fifth round. There's a reason why he's in the fifth round, because he's undersized. Over 16% missed tackle rate. I saw You saw the tape? I'm not making this up. Just watch the tape. That's just one game. All the games are like this. All of them are like this in his tape. He makes some good plays, but he's flat-footed. He's late. His reads are late. He's not in the right place alignment-wise, assignment-wise, and he misses tackles. He over-pursues and misses tackles. I don't know if he would have been even drafted if the Eagles didn't pick him in the fifth round. If he would have fell out of the draft, I wouldn't be surprised because the tape doesn't lie. He misses tackles. Definitely not a pick I like. Let me know in the comments below. Do you disagree with me? What are your thoughts on the tape I just showed you at Duke? He made some plays, but he missed a lot more than he made. He was getting manhandled by those offensive linemen at Duke who are not going to be NFL tackles. They're not going to be in the NFL. Some of them might be, but they're not all NFL-ready guys. What, Graham Barton is going to be an NFL player from Duke? And is that it, maybe? He's going to struggle. If he gets on the field, I'll be surprised. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm on to something? Is Jeremiah Trotter Jr. going to be a bust for the Eagles? I hope not because Jeremiah Trotter, his dad was such a legend for the Birds. I hope he's at least an adequate player, gets better at tackling. Hopefully Fangio can coach him up a little bit. We'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments below. Is he going to be a bust or not? Like and subscribe.